German officer there behind the hill, firing bursts of his MP14 top machine gun. And that range basically is pinning down the Allies again, which is not just his gun, but seems to work. The American vehicle has been uh, stopped again by the small arms fire. And see what the officer there is urging his men forward. broken down in fact, the Tiger seems to have been disabled more by an engineer somewhere in Germany than he had by the Allied action, although that, that near miss may in fact have uh, trampled the gearbox or something. Yeah, rather vulnerable, rather vulnerable. Now of course the American infantry are now using their German uh, as a cover them against the front of the quarter two on the right flank here. That means the Germans on the central are now being outflanked, and trying to pull back, the Americans in the middle now moving forward. by the Tiger, captured. Uh, the rest of the war potato farming in Idaho. 42 gun on, on the German right flank, also been captured now. Uh, oh, there's a German boy, he's had enough. Uh, of course, at this, this stage of the war, only an officer would have a white handkerchief. <laughs> Now the GIs move forward and take the, take the officer and his uh, two colleagues prisoner. We have armoured infantry from head on wheels as well as the, uh, the boys of the 1st Division here. Moving now to occupy the whole area. Tigers obviously can put. Surviving Germans now being moved out of their foxholes and away from their weapons. Something was happening day by day, almost field by field. And, until the uh, American breakout on, on the right flank was able to swing round and through. And what happened then was that they, they moved forward and to the south of the German army. Uh, the the 7th Army, in fact, was, was holding on reasonably well until Hitler ordered the rather stupid counter-attack at Morton, where he thought he could split the British from the Americans. Uh, the Allies knew it was coming, of course, because of the ultra uh, decrypt. And so basically, but what happened was that more of the 7th Army drove itself deeper into what was to become the Palais pocket. Well, his pocket effectively ended the battle for Normandy, and more or less the battle for, certainly for Western France. Um, a large part of the German army and almost all their victims were or captured there. Um, elephants were able to escape before the uh, pocket was finally closed. And um, the Americans always blamed the, uh, the uh, British Canadians that morning. In fact, the Americans had the easy going through the southern part. The, the uh, other allies had to go through very, very mountainous country, and it's funny with the cold who finally closed the the Palais uh, pocket and cut the rest of the 7th Army in there. Now, just to, of course, now we're just finishing the battle for you. Now, the thing is, of course, with, with, a, with a battle reenactment, our death wounded can get up and rejoin their comrades and come and talk to you. And, and, the, real, and the real thing, of course, that wasn't possible. So just, just as our units now form up, I thought we can't face every direction. So the units now forming up for you. So you have a quick, have another look at them while they're still on the battlefield. Of course, still be available to talk to you and uh, answer your questions in the big history area.
This being the All-American battle, of course, we've made British trips for you here today, although there are some in the Sunday Pacific history, but none on the battlefield. So we'll just move that uh, chairman out of the way.